bridge. Welcome to another edition of Master Bridge, the tournament in which eight top internationals partner each other in turn to compete for a first prize of £5,000 and a second prize of £2,000. Our players are all familiar faces on the world bridge circuit. At the first table are Rixie Marcus and Jane Pryde, and they're opposed by Irving Rose and Zia Mahmood. Playing together at the other table are two England internationals, Jeremy Flint and Robert Sheehan and they're up against Doma Sharif and his partner Martin Hoffman. And with us again is Sami Kahila, the Canadian international, who will be analysing the bidding and play of the hands. Sami. At this stage, Nicola, after only two boards, all the players have scored two points. This tournament, remember, awards two points to each member of a partnership if it outscores its counterpart at the other table, and one for a tied board. And for the purposes of this tournament, a board is tied where the difference between the score of the two pairs is 10 or less. For example, three spades in one room, 140 points, against four diamonds in the other, 130 points, would count as a tie, not a win. Anyway, let's see how our players fare on the first of this session's hands. On this hand, East-West, Zia Mahmoud and Irving Rose are vulnerable, playing against Rixie Marcus North and Jane Friday South, two world champions. East-West have the values for a game. It's just a question of which game they reach. Pass. One heart. One spade. Uh, Rixie doesn't have many points, but that Two has never club. prevented her from bidding in the past. Two spades. Now Irving has a difficult bid. I think he probably put two no trump or three clubs. Two no trump probably is more appealing to describe his hand pattern. On the other hand, his spade stopper is not all it is. You see, so sensational. Three clubs would probably suggest more distribution, yes. perhaps five hearts and four clubs, or... I think he might have liked three to play the strong no trump on his spade. Well, three spades, as most players play it, requests his partner to be three no trump with something in spades. I thought it's, it's probably quite a good bid. His partner had something like queen and one spade, for example. Three spade. That's good. It sort of says, we've got game, mm. partner. But I'm not sure where. Exactly. Well, the last thing is going to do is bid three no trump, so they, they've avoided that trap. Zia will probably bid four hearts now. Zia might be thinking that Irving is agreeing clubs and might be thinking of even six clubs. Yes, but he really needs another bid over four hearts, I think. Yes. For there to be to be a good play for a slam. Four spade. Aha. Uh -huh. Pass. They've bypassed four hearts. Five clubs. Pass. 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 Well, Zia's in five clubs. Jane Priday is to lead. She lead a spade. Will she? She might lead. No. She's led the ten of diamonds. She's operating on the theory that she's only going to be on lead once more and that she there's no future in spades because the opponents have, have shown control in spades and she's going to try and serve diamond tricks before the declare can get his diamond losers away on the heart. And she has the ace of hearts yes. as entry. So it was a well Very reasoned well, yes. well play. conceived. Zia is looking at the dummy with some consternation. He's probably thinking, in this particular instance, he'd been better off letting his partner play the hand. Well, he's come to the conclusion that the king of diamonds is certainly wrong. His only chance is that it's doubleton. And now he knows that it isn't. Because the jack would have yes. dropped with king jack alone. The queen. 
three. Queen six. Well, he has to hope for some sort of error, but I can't see how the opponents can, the defense can go wrong here. They can just follow suit and sit back and wait for their two diamond tricks. In five clubs, Zia could not avoid losing two diamonds and the ace of hearts, especially after Jane Pryde had punched through the ten of diamonds with her first lead. Thank you for the lead, partner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marcus is quite pleased with her partner's lead. The Claire has gone one down, a hundred points to north-south. I must say a, a, a yeah, good result for north-south. East-west, had east-west reached four hearts, uh, the, the play would have been very interesting. I think that the defense might have prevailed, but the contact certainly would have been better. Because if we look at four hearts played by west, we can see that even with the most threatening lead, a spade, west still has a good chance of making ten tricks. Perhaps they'll find that four heart contract at the other table. Bras. One no trump. Hoffman and Bras. Sharif have agreed to play the strong no trump throughout. And indeed, if you are playing that method, that is certainly the most descriptive bid on that hand. A four three 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 with a stopper yes. all around. Unfortunately, this has prevented North South from entering the auction, which happened in the other room. In the other room, West opened the bidding with a heart, uh, permitting North-South to compete in spades, and this had the effect of warning East-West away from a three-no-trump contract. First. Now, he's obviously two no-trumps is perhaps a transfer to club, Sammy, here? Yes, I think they've agreed to pay transfers. I'm not sure whether this applies in this sequence or whether they have discussed it, but we shall soon First. know. No, in fact... First. In fact... They've had a misunderstanding. And I think they've landed on their feet. Yes, Omar is not very happy about this, but <laughs> when he sees coup. the result, <laughs> he he's will, going to be delighted. He is going to smile. <laughs> Transfer bids are a common technique in response to partners' no trump opening. By bidding the suit immediately below your actual suit, you compel your partner to bid your suit so that your hand, the weaker hand, can be dummy, keeping the stronger hand concealed. Omar obviously intended his partner to bid three clubs, hence his wincing at Martin's pass. But as we've seen, any plus score for East-West will win the board. Remember, Zia and Irving went down, so the misunderstanding should have a happy ending. Jeremy Flint to lead against two no Trump. He has a natural spade lead. Probably the jack. The jack to indicate yes. the law of touching honors as this partnership play. This is, in fact, a regular. North and South are a regular partnership. So this is... These are four boards on which they would hope to score quite well yes. together. It's not going to work out yeah. on this hand, is it, Sam? No. Uh, Hoffman doesn't seem too disconcerted with the contract, Seven. does he? So he's going to he's he's going to duck two Eight. spades uh, just in case the spades are six three and the hand with the long spades does not have the ace of hearts. That's good technique. That's a simple safety play. The contract is only in danger if the spades break 6-3. Even then, by holding up his ace of spades for two rounds, Declare will still make his contract if the hand with the six spades does not hold the ace of hearts. As it is, we can see Martin is in no danger. It's just a question of whether he will run his clubs first or play a heart immediately. It's generally good technique to give the opponents a chance to make a mistake, no matter how illustrious they are. And Hoffman is in his element playing quickly and forcing right. errors from the opponents. <coughs> you see, they are pausing for thought, but uh, they'll, they'll, North will certainly keep all his spades, and uh, South will keep one spade in any event, and... Uh, Tell them. King of Kings. I don't know what that ten of diamonds yeah. means. Uh, do you, Nicola? Uh, do they play sort of upside down signals? Uh, we play odd even in principle. Odd even. Odd, so odd even signals. So that an even card, the ten of diamonds, indicate a lack indicates a lack of interest in that suit. Had he had something good in diamonds, he would have played three the three or the nine. Eight of diamonds. Most people play the opposite, don't they, Sammy? Or Perhaps they play high-low. Yes, the, high low the conventional is the method is to play a high card if you like the suit, but uh, other methods have their advantages 
on As long as you understand the method you're using. Yeah. Thank you. He's going to now knock out the Ace of Hearts. South will return a spade. And the defense will take four spades and the Ace of Hearts. And gnash their teeth. And Omar will grin. Let's wait for that. Ace of Hearts. Martin's busy explaining to his partner that even though he passed what Omar had intended to be a forcing bid, they cannot really make a game. And in fact, game is extremely difficult to make. Martin is apologizing, but only half-heartedly, I think. He knows a good board when he's had one. Yes. So in fact, uh, Martin and Omar win that board, scoring two points each. Yes, they scored 120. In the other room, we saw Zia playing the East Hand in five clubs, down 100. And since honors don't count, he was, in fact, minus 100 points. So Zia and Irving, along with Sheehan and Flint, score not on the board. Sharif, Hoffman, and the two women, Rixi Marcus and Jane Priday, score two points. Even in expert circles, a little bit of luck never goes amiss. Well, after that good result for Martin and Omar, let's see how the play goes on the next hand. It looks destined to end in three no trumps, unless the East-West choose to play in their six-three diamond fit. On this board, both sides are vulnerable. West, Irving grows as a dealer, playing with Zia Mahmoud, against Rixi Marcus and Jane Priday seems that East-West have enough cards to reach a game. Question is, which game will they reach, and how will they make it if they reach it? Pass. Pass. One diamond. A disciplined Pass. diamond by Zia. I think in his normal average games, he might have opened two no trumps. Pass. Skip it. No he has enough yes. for the game. Everything stopped. Pass. And a six card suit tucked under Pass. his belt for Pass. extra measure in case they're needed. The problem with this contract is that North South can set up their hearts before Declare can get his diamonds going. So, if South leads a heart, Zia will have to abandon diamonds and rely on making three club tricks in addition to four spades and two hearts. Well, Jane, Jane Friday is thinking. Uh, I don't think she'd look further, more beyond the Jack of Hearts for her opening lead. Jack 10 nine's always an attractive yes. lead because any honor in partner's hand helps that holding. My rule of thumb in these situations is that if God gave me Jack 10 nine of Hearts, it's for a reason. Yes. She's led the jack of hearts, so we pray at the same altar. Now Zia will be counting his tricks. Yes, he can, if he takes the heart and clears the spades and leaves a low club, he's, he's all right if they take the first club and the clubs are 3-3. Three, three. Then he can make four spades and two hearts and three club tricks. But the opponents might not be so cooperative, and in fact, the clubs do not divide three and three. And in this field, they're, they're not going to take the king of clubs. Quite right. And make it easy for De Clara. So no what He'll have to think again. So if he wins, he seems to have formulated some sort Seven, of a plan. Five. five king. Notice uh, North playing the five to show an even number. Yes. Four. Three. 
five. Well, in any event, he's decided to unblock the spades. Yes. Ace of spades. Seven. Six. Two. Now I think he'd need a low club. Six of clubs. Yes. He's trying to make the opponents misread the. Now, if Jane How goes in with the king of clubs, uh, he's home. Now, is there any reason why she might want to do that? Does she think he might be trying to steal a trick? But no, she knows well, he has two hearts and four spades. Say Rixie has the ace of hearts. She's not sure about the ace of hearts. Yes, quite. But will that give him enough tricks? Um, if four spades, if he happens to have something better than diamonds, like the ace queen of diamonds six times, will that... That might be a possible combination she's, she's, she's worrying about. Yes, indeed, if the Clara did have the Ace Queen of Diamonds, but that would give him Five. 20 oh, points. She's, she's, she's done it, yes. Clubs. She's decided that the Clara only has one heart stopper. Yes. And was trying to steal you a see. club trick. Six of hearts. Queen. Two. Ace of hearts. Club. I, I must say that from from Jane from Jane's point of view, I I, I sympathise with her play yes. because uh, he, she could yeah. could well have been difficult. right. Yes, it, it could well have been right. He did open the bidding a diamond. Yes. There's no way to know that it was yes. knave high. And all his points are outside. Yes. Ten of spades. Ten of clubs. Queen of spades. Ten of clubs. Five of diamonds. Well, now he has an easy nine tricks uh, with no possibilities of more. So Zia Mahmood made his nine tricks. But what if Jane Pridey holds off the king of clubs till the third round of clubs? She can then take her king, clear the hearts, and declare her has no entry to dummy to make his last club. But there is a clever way for declarer to create an extra entry to dummy by discarding his ace of hearts on dummy's queen of spades when dummy's jack of clubs holds. Now the opponents can't continue with their heart suit without giving him access to the dummy. And I think it's fair to assume that Zia had found that line, as he has already unblocked his spades before starting on clubs. Now let's see how Martin Hoffman and Omar Sharif bid those cards against Rob Sheehan and Jeremy Flint. Love it. First. One. Diamond. First. One spade. First. Bidding the same so far as uh, Mahmoud and Rose. Omar's wondering how many no trumps to bid. And hoping uh, he gets some of these cards at Rubble Ridge. Yes. <laughs> two no trumps. Yes. He's bid only two no trumps to give his partner First. a chance to get out if his partner's responded on First. some mediocre hand. But West has full values First. and raises him to game. South is considering his lead. And the other one, they led the knave of hearts. I don't think that Shane can look reasonably beyond that. Uh, jack of hearts. Yes, the same lead that Jane Friday made in the other room. When Zia played the hand, he uh, took the king of hearts, unblocked the ace and king of spades, and led a club. South took the club and Zia had nine tricks. Now, I don't think the play will go quite like that in this room. No. I think that uh, Robert and Jeremy will know more what they have in hearts. And uh, South won't be so tempted to go in with the king of clubs to try and make the hearts, as Jane was, because she wasn't sure of Rix's heart holding. Yes. <coughs> Interesting to see how their odd even discards work on this hand. I'm, I'm yes, the question is whether they play odd even now or give, a, or give a count. Let that's us right. see. The five, the five is played. The five. That's, well, that's giving a count. It's the same card as Mrs. Marcus played. The question is, does it mean it, the same thing here? I don't think it does, uh, Sammy. Now, at this stage, Zia cashed the ace king of spades, which is a necessary maneuver, before leading the club. The difficulty, of course, as we saw, is that the cleric cannot afford to set up diamonds because he's a tempo behind. Ah, he has led a club early. 
I now, think he's still all right. He's still all right, particularly if she intakes his yeah. king. Because ah. he can... Ah, yes. oh, okay. the same thing has happened. The same thing has happened. You see, both Souths felt that de Clare was trying to steal a trick yeah. before setting about his diamonds. And really, one True. can't blame them because yeah. their diamond, their, they felt their partner's diamond holding was vulnerable to a finesse. Yes. But the effect of, of the king of clubs, the premature play of the king of clubs, is to facilitate de Clare's task. Now de Clare has four spades, two hearts, and three clubs. Omar, in a way, did quite well not to unblock the yes, ace and king of quite spades right, yes. because he kept them hidden. Yes. Uh, so they, they Robert had more case for going in with the king of clubs. He wasn't the way the play went. Yes, South wasn't quite sure what his his holdings were because uh, he might have had better diamonds and, and weaker spades, in which case it might have been necessary to play yes. the king of clubs. Altogether, a rather difficult hand for the defence, I think. However, the result was is duplicated in the other room. The first hand that has been duplicated. Yes, and East and West have scored 600 points here. 100 for the trick score, 500 for the vulnerable game, matching the nine tricks that Zia made in the other room. So all the players score one point. Strictly speaking, Omar's play was riskier than Zia's there, because if Sheen holds off the king of clubs, the dummy is cut off. Omar can make the club queen, but now cannot discard his heart ace because he has failed to clear his top spades. But it must have had psychological merit, for it certainly deceived Sheehan. Omar, you're very keen on the strong near trump. Can you tell us why? I think basically it's because uh, I was taught when I started to play bridge to play a strong no trump, so I feel more comfortable with it. In fact, I think that probably the advantages and disadvantages uh, balance out. Uh, between the strong and weak no trump. You just have to know how to use the weak no trump. And if you've always played weak no trump, you know how to use it better. I've always played strong no trump, so I feel comfortable with it. Right, Emma, you're an expert on games of chance. Now, where does bridge fit in? Well, I don't consider bridge as, uh, really as a game of chance, unless you go to your club and play your game of rubber bridge, and if you get all the aces and kings, you obviously are going to win. But I like competition bridge. I like to play high-level competition. And I think that uh, when you do that, there is not a lot of luck involved. There is a little bit of luck. It depends on uh, if your opponents make mistakes or don't make mistakes. But uh, there again, it's skill. It's, uh, it, it, it's, it's the luck that's involved is whether or not your opponents have skill or not. So uh, don't you think there's more gambling in rubber bridge, say, than tournament bridge? Yes, of course, because you, de you, you deal the cards normally and uh, you might get a lot of good cards all the time, whereas in tournament bridge, everybody's got the same cards in the room. So you compare your own skill with all the other players who are seated in the same position holding the same cards. Right, so tournament bridge, you think, is a fairer judge of someone's skill than rubber bridge? Oh, yes. I think that's why I particularly love bridge because it, it's a challenge. You, you test your own ability against the ability of other players. If luck was a big factor, it wouldn't be so exciting for me. Thank you, Omar, and well played on that hand. Remember, Sammy and I will be awarding a brilliancy prize of £1,000 for outstanding bidding or play in the tournament, over and above the £5,000 first prize and £2,000 second prize. Let's find out how the scores are standing after four rounds. Sammy. Well, Omar's joint lead with Martin Hoffman, Rixie Marcus, and Jane Priday on five points. The other four players have three points each. In the next round, the partnerships change, and that will break the field up more. So join us for round two in our next program. Until then, that's all from Master Bridge.